What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 104 of Fusion. What we're going to be doing today is wrapping up this series. Sorry, there's a little bit of a gap. The audio on the previous recording was really poor and terrible, and so I had to redo these videos. Got around to them, but never posted them, and so here we are. Okay, what we're going to do uh, today is we're going to make our followers for our uh, follower for our guides, and then we're going to then hopefully start to get into our cams. But we'll see how far we get to in this video. I'm going to go ahead and make our box inactive and our axle handle inactive, and we can actually go and make the guides inactive as well because we just need the guide sketch. Remember, if we're doing a true top-down approach. We want to reuse as much geometry as possible where one thing references another. I'm going to go ahead and extrude all of these followers. Now your followers may be a different length based upon your theme, but mine are all going to be the same for showcasing what we have going on here. And then we're going to do a symmetric extrusion for 1.5 inches. Those are going to be new bodies. We're looking good. We can go ahead and throw our other pieces back in just to show where it is in reference not too bad okay let's make those boxes and handle guides and everything inactive again and i'm going to use a little bit of fillet so we're going to fill at the bottom edges of our follower rods that we have so far i'm going to fill it the front and bottom edge i guess front and back edge not that face front and back edge of each rod and the radius we're going to use here is going to be 0 0.125 inches because it'll create a nice smooth edge for each of my follower feet. Okay, let's bring it back in, see if everything looks good so far, and we don't have a problem. As far as I'm concerned, our, our rods are modeled, we just need to turn them into components, so let's do that. Let's take our bodies, and let's put these in order. So I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna go find it, I'm gonna count from left to right, so this is going to be follower three. We got follower two. Follower four. Follower one. And follower five. Sweet. Let's go ahead and then turn each of those into a component. So I'm going to highlight all of those. Remember, first click, hold down shift, click the last one, create new component, and then click OK. We do want to go and then create these as sub-assemblies. So let's go ahead and create a new component while they're at, and we'll just call this follower rods. We can then take all of our follower rods and then shove them into the follow rods and turn that into a sub-assembly. I really like doing this because it cleans up my workspace. We've got the box, we've got the axle handle, we've got the guides, now we have the follower rods. If we're in the sake of follow, make sure we do everything correctly, let's go ahead and add physical material to that. And my follower rods are going to be similar to our dowel rod earlier, so I'm just going to turn that into pine. Alrighty, things are looking good so far. Let's see what we can, how far we can get with modeling a couple of our cams. I am going to go ahead and move each of our follower rods up. So I'm going to highlight all of those. Let's hit move copy and move those up just so they're out of my way while I am kind of uh, modeling these, these cams. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make these cams parametric. So in order to do that, we have to define a parameter. So let's do that. Let's go to uh, Modify tab. Down at the bottom, we have Change Parameters. And we're going to create a user parameter. Click on plus sign for user parameters. And the first one we're going to call this is cam thickness. So I'm going to just go cam thick. And that expression is going to be, uh, let's do Let's do 3 eighths thick for now. And then we're just going to call this cam thickness. Good so far. 
we're gonna have another parameter and we're gonna call this nom diameter so n-o-m-d-i-a and for right now I'm just gonna call this one and we're gonna call this nominal diameter looks great to me from here we're gonna to start to model our cams from left to right but in order to do that, we're going to need an offset plane. To measure out the distance from my offset plane, I want it to be the center of this hole right here to the left wall. And so let's do that. Let's click on this. Let's click on offset plane. And that distance is going to be some measurable distance, or we can try dragging this over and see if that's going to get in the ballpark of where we need to be. And I think it's going to be a half inch. Looks good to me. Since I don't need my handle for a while, let's go ahead and get the, we're not running my box for a while. We're gonna need the handle for a little bit. We're gonna see why. But I only need the axle. That's the only piece we're gonna need here. And now we're ready to model our cam. Let's click on create a sketch. Let's click on that plane that we made. And let's you know, rotate this a little bit so it's easier to understand. And I want to use the axle geometry as we're doing a true top-down approach in my sketch. That way, if I were to change the profile of the axle, it would then affect everything downstream. So I'm going to click on P for project. And we're going to project that square onto the sketch. I don't need the axle anymore right now, so we can make that inactive. And now we have our first cam ready to roll, and that's going to be the circle cam. So making sure I'm hovering over the origin plane, or origin point, we're going to click on one click is the center, second click is the di diameter, but since this is going to be parametric, we want to use the parameter of nominal diameter. So I'm just going to type in N-O-M-D-I-A and it puts in that value of one, which we defined earlier. Let's go ahead and click on Finish Sketch. Looking good, and then we're gonna extrude this as a symmetric extrusion. And that is also gonna be parameter, and that's gonna be cam thickness. Looks okay to me. New body, happy hunky-dory. Let's go and bring all of our other parts in to see if we need to change anything. Well, the first thing that kind of pops up to me is that maybe we put that cam thickness as too big. And our nominal diameter is a little too small. So here's the really awesome part about using parametric equations or para parametric parameters, words are hard sometimes, is that instead of going back and changing my design, we can actually go in here and change the design from here. So instead of that being 3 eighths, I'm going to make it 1 eighth. And instead of 1 inch, let's do 1.5 inches. And what we've done now was we've effectively changed the parameters of our design. So to see where we got there, clicked on the Modify, Change Parameters tab. And watch this. I'm going to go from 1 eighth, let's do 2 eighths. Oh, 2 eighths, we don't like that. Too big. Let's do 1 eighth again. Looks good to me. Cam still looks a little too small. So we can do two inches, and hot dog, doesn't that look good? Alrighty, folks. I think we're going to call it here. We're going to model some of the other four cams later on. So we're going to do the eccentric, pear, snail, and then the heart cam, and then hopefully wrap up this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, throw them down in the comment section or reach out to me in any way that you see fashionable, and I'd love to answer your questions. Before we wrap up here, though, I am going to go ahead and assign a material. So let's, let's click on our new body. Let's make it a component. New component. And we're going to rename this Circle Cam. Looks good to me so far. Clean up my workspace just a little bit right click let's assign a physical material and i'm going to choose either pla or abs let's choose abs for right now and then for color for appearance hit a for appearance let's do red looks good to me folks
We've got our circle cam model and fully functional. We're ready to roll. 